Hey, everybody. <clears throat> Hello. Hi, gays. <laughs> hey, lost. There's something inside me. Oh, no. If the lyrics goes, it's something inside you. It's hard to explain. I don't know, man. It's from the fucking movie. I drive. So, yeah, chat. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hope everybody's doing good. Hey, it's Mayil. And, um... Oh, shit. It's the feds in the chat. Hey, that one guy. What, a, what the hell is wrong with my throat? <clears throat> you should watch that movie on stream and get your channel nuked. Yeah, I should probably do that. When I want to do my last ever stream. I'm sick. Oh, ho I hope you get soon. Well soon, Jark. Hey, Laszlo. Left for Dead stream when? Uh, I tried it, tried it a while ago and it didn't go that well. So I never streamed it again. But yeah, guys, today I was kind of feeling a little down. You know, kind of just lazy. So I thought, you know, I should relax in tonight's stream. You know, uh, uh, what call it? Um, relax with the chat, have a grand old time, and you know, play some Leon mods. <laughs> hey, Tavanesium! I can't wait for the part where Rad says it has time. Hey, Echoes! So yeah, this is a Leon mod. Uh, hopefully. Not as long as uh, the closure or Strider Mountain, but um, yeah. Hey JTS, hey Spitfire. Leons from coastline to atmosphere. Oh yeah. Flying bird, cutscene, lovely mapping in the back. This is what I'm talking about. There's no relaxing in Leon mods. Hey, Yaika. Hey, Bit. Hideo Leojima. After the explosion, Dr. Breen escaped the Citadel in a special capsule. You streaming so much is like Christmas. <laughs> Some survivors from the rebel forces found you badly injured amongst the rubble. Hey Rad, just went through a divorce. What we doing was getting divorced? What? Is your stunned son still mewing? Yeah, you can cut diamonds with his jawline. Hey Colix. Poggers. There's a skeleton inside of you, meme lord. Hey Shepard. Hey Yuz. So this is like a sequel to Half-Life 2. Like, it starts off right after the explosion and some rebels found us and brought us here to the coastline. And now we gotta find Dr. Breen and kill him. Hey, Emperor Radnax. Radnax. No way a rad has streamed right after our Roblox. Roblox? What are we doing now? I was saying I didn't know since I was getting divorced. Oh, we're playing a Leon mod. Leon! Last time I joined a stream, it was the RTBR stream. You should have joined last night. We were playing Hunt Down the Freeman. Only the greatest. Oh. Man, Leon got some damn fine taste in music. Is it a good mod? Hey, Matt. I'm gonna go for now. Hey, thanks, Matt. Your videos. Hey, Dragon. Yes, Coastline to Atmosphere. Hey, Benja. So, Leon mods aren't exactly bad mods, like I said before, they're like a spectacle, like a work of art, like a car crash, you know? Like, you don't, you know it's bad, but you still want to look at it, because it's like a spectacle. Play this in a club. Hey, Genoi. Didn't know that an NPC from Half-Life could make a mod. Yeah, Leon. From uh, the coast, yeah. 
Hey, you're welcome for showing you the art at the end of the stream. Yeah, I saw your video, Head Clam. Your head has, you're carrying me bridal style through this long weekend. Thank you, BBQ. Sure, Oko. Can your son cut bedrock? Oh, yeah. He can even melt steel beams. Hello from Turkey. Hello. Erksmux84. FBI is cool now. Gunnar Skibidi G Man W Riz. That's reassuring. Hey, Black Bonnie. Hey, Blacksmith. There's something oddly 90s about this whole skybox. Because, like. Combat. How many stars are there? I don't think that. <laughs> it's like peppered with salt. That is not the right way to say that, I just realized. <laughs> Rad has best HL channel. Hey man, I appreciate that. I'm just trying to do my best. It's a poorly lit moon. Oh, for sure, yeah. Like it's some sci fi game from the late 90s with that like graphics like <laughs> lack of artificial light yeah it's weird because like the environment lighting is like bright but the skybox is dark that's what kind of like is icking me off right now hey Mitchell Shepard's in the chat this is the real Starfield Todd wanted to make man Starfield is such a like disappointment in a way I mean it looks like a good game but from every review and gameplay video I've watched, and I watched a ton of it, it just feels, just by the looks of it, without even playing it, feels very bland. Hey, beta fan. Coastline to atmosphere? Yeah, VGR. Hey, my cool HK. Greetings from Wales. Nice, I got viewers in Wales. Coastline to what atmosphere? I think... I don't know why, but I have a feeling this mod will end in space. Because I think the title is literal. In a way that we started from coastline and we'll be going into outer space, like the outer atmosphere, you know? The true citizen subs to radiation hazard. The true citizen commits war crimes every day. Skybox is very dark, but not gritty. Yeah, because there's no dark green clouds. Hey, Lucius. Yeah, happy weekend, everyone. So what you got planned for this weekend? Since you all will be off of, you know, school, college, and your jobs. What are you going to be doing? Something that I should know about? Particularly of committing war crimes? Hey, Vianda. Why have you not oiled up yet, bro? I'm grounded, I can't do shit. Oh, snap. I'm Mr. Man from the United States of Man. <laughs> hey, DM. This mod is a met metaphor for human evolution. Holy shit. Hey, Goose. I'm waiting for one of my friends to play Sea of Thieves. While my friend singing, You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. <laughs> Hold on. That is a very, very familiar sounding music. Max Payne. Max Payne, I am your name. And I wish I could do monologues like Max Payne. Was gonna be gonna sleep all weekend because that's how we roll. <laughs> I slept at 11 in the morning yesterday, chat. That's how much you had an effect on me. I couldn't sleep all night. Hey, Finnish Memer. This is Coastline to Atmosphere. Heads up, I think there's Combine. Oh, you don't say. Max Pan. The LeBron James meme is so, like... Out of left field, it, it's like, <laughs> what? Only thing planned for the weekend is crying about my divorce. Don't worry about it, Cameron. You can 
There's always plenty of fish in the sea. But do keep in mind there's also a lot of sharks too. Do a monologue about having an old school style Coca-Cola. <laughs> hey, fast head crab. I can already feel the coastline atmosphering inside of me. Yeah, my whole viewer base needs professional help. I'm sorry to say this, but you all need help. You are genuinely the, genuinely the most beautiful, handsome, intelligent man on this world. I <laughs> Are you being serious? Opinion on fixing good? Oh, you mean opposite of Breaking Bad, okay. Hey, pure trick. What kind of help? Uh, off the psy psychiatry nature. You all need to be on meds. You need help. What we really need is some oil. I don't know why. what's the fascination with my chat always trying to oil me up. She atmosphere on my coast till I line. God damn lost, that was bad. The LeBron meme originated from Happy Happy Cats. I see. Hey Noggin. What mod is this? Coastline atmosphere. I take ADHD meds. Okay, you're good. Hey, Hansa. Coastline atmosphere. I should probably write that because a lot of people will join in and they won't know what mod I'm playing, chat. It'll be hilarious if somebody joins my chat, reads my pinned message, and then still asks me, What mod is that, Rat? I mean, I love you guys, but still. Who out here eating sardines? <laughs> what even are the sardines? Tiny little fish? Why do people eat them? Catch. There you go. Oh, that was an overthrow. I would not make it in the Pakistani cricket team. But my... What ma? You read the fucking pinned comment. I played this when I was 12. Yeah, this is like a mod. Okay, this mod is from like 2006. It's older than um, episode 2. You should put the mod title in giant red text on screen. For people to be able to tell them. Citadel was alive. Source, certain sound files from HL2. Yeah, I never, like, I always read those comments on my videos. Oh, I don't have a crowbar, just noticed. I always read comments in my videos, old videos, that people used to say that the uh, Citadel, I almost, I was almost about to say the Cockadel. Anyway, the Citadel, <laughs> the Citadel is alive, but I never found any evidence of it myself. This has that old mod smell. It does. Hey, who's knee? There's no pinned comment. It's on the top of the chat. <laughs> the Citadel. The Cockadoo. Thanks, Akos, for the birthday wish. I'm certainly not tired of hearing that. Have you played Postal 2? I have, actually. Hey, Meep. Meep, Meep. I'm that bird chat. That bird from that old cartoon. I should turn this down, shouldn't I? I feel like it's kind of loud. Happy cocktail. <laughs> Happy birthday, Ronald Reagan. <laughs> My fellow Americans. We need to fight the war against the drugs. But I'm not gonna tell anyone that it was my plan to actually spread the drugs myself. And that's actually a thing, chat. Did you know? While they had the whole um, campaign going about not using drugs in the 80s, the CAA in the 80s actually spread drugs themselves. SMG is way too loud, yeah. 
I turned it down. Let me do it a little more. I don't think there's gonna be any dialogues in this. Iran Contra scheme, let's go. <laughs> Reagan administration was so silly like that. And it's even funnier that they targeted specifically African-American communities, um, gay people, and who else? One more uh, minority. Like, yeah, CIA just looked at those three groups and went like, yep, we're gonna give them crack. What the f- <laughs> God damn it. Holy shit, the driving hazard Photoshop I made because of the last stream is the thumbnail. I'm currently in a court for kidnapping people to put them in my rad ass cult. Here's a small, small portion of my bribe money for the judge. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, man. I am sold on the fact that you're actually either a... Like a drug lord. Or you work in the CAA. Regan is a silly willy. <laughs> he targeted Punjabi singers. <laughs> Hispanic folks. Yeah, maybe. I think so. Imagine trying to get your own people, your own civilians, get 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 them addicted to crack and shit. And now it's the modern times and everybody's addicted to opioids. I accidentally like tuned into a documentary about you know, modern day, modern day drug pro problems in the U.S. And holy shit. People are literally walking around like zombies in Los Angeles. You would, Rad. Yeah, the whole Fent thing. Rad, lol, this guy donated $100. He did. Yesterday, too. Do you watch Kyle Hill? I do! <laughs> I do watch Kyle Hill. Hey, train fan, thanks for the dono, man. What is the command for voice communicate in HL1? I have no idea. Pakistan's in the bed. The Pissadel. Hey, Waleed Dreamer. LA is like an L4D2 map. When balls reveal. Unfortunately, I got neutered a few years ago, so I can't show them anymore. It's just a blank slate in front of me, chat. There's nothing there. I don't know why they did it to me. Have you checked out the Beta 2001 story? No, I haven't, actually. Conspiracy theory stream when every every stream is a conspiracy theory stream Black sensor bar <laughs> Red how do you have a child if you got neutered? <laughs> Science I guess This mod looks cool. Yeah, that's the thing with Leon mods that they Look very charming even if they look basic did you know that the interval is actually pronounced like interval and not like an interval? Interval and interval. Jesus Christ, Peter. This mod looks like modern day India. <laughs> Ow. This could be anywhere. Every stream is a conspiracy theory stream if you want it to be. Yeah, chat. Like, you know, the conspiracy theory that you all are uh, plants by the uh, CIA to make me think you're all real people, but you're actually not, and I kind of know that. You should do a video about how the CIA, in the, in, how in the CIA beta they were supposed to not kill JFK. <laughs> hey, Skanda. This mod looks like modern Alabama. I would, I would live, love to live here, not gonna lie. Hey, Abdul Rahman, how freaky deaky do you think Gordon is? Well, for a man who hasn't got, got any poontang in like... Well, for him it's like four or five days, but still. Not getting any poontang 
d during the duration of all that, yeah, I don't know. He he must be really freaking the hell out. Dead internet theory. I was reading a headline this morning that half of the internet population is now bots, and one third of that population, bot population, is bad bots that want to scam you. You love dark and gritty skyboxes, right? I do. Gordon's balls are swollen. <laughs> Yeah, he needs some action quick. Dead internet theory? Uh, the dead internet theory, in very summarized and rough fashion, is that every year that passes, the internet starts to get more faker and faker because real life people and real life businesses are starting to get replaced with bots. That's something what the dead internet theory says. Red, did you not see the hundred dollars or am, am I tripping? I saw the do donation. I even read out the message. Dude bro sent it. There is something inside you. I know, it's a skeleton. I didn't ask him to be in there, but what can I do? He's stuck in there. So many goddamn frogs. You know what I really, really find disgusting? Frogs and um, mantises. You owe me five dollar? What did I do? The skeleton is a paid actor. <laughs> do you like Delta Rune? I loved um, Undertale. Playing Undertale was a really nice experience, but I never got got to play Delta Rune. And meat and muscles. Yeah. That's my own. Homegrown. Bro, fro frogs are chill as hell. Hey, John Bogart. Yeah, the reason I don't like frogs is that their skin is like kind of icky and gooey. And I find that kind of weird. And just looking at mantises in the grass also makes me like kind of freak, freak out. Because like, they look like... Um, Leaves, you know, if, if you know what I mean, blades of grass, but moving on their own, it's just weird. Is the skeleton the armor for our inner meat? I think the skeleton is inside your meat. Dead Stranding Stream when I don't own that game, I, I don't think so. What do you think is your favorite Leon mod anyway? He's absurdly prolific. Well, Joe, I only played like um, um, Strider Mountain and this one so far, so I can't really say which one's my favorite. Oh, shit, fuck off. Yeah, one thing Leon does a lot is like double the amount of enemies there should be in a room. They're doing an AI beauty pageant now, not even kidding. Jesus Christ, moths are goaded. If I see a moth, I'm gonna... <laughs> My heartbeat goes to like 200 beats per minute. And I start jumping all over the place. I, I just don't like insects of any kind. They just... Ugh. You just... You should just reveal that you're Leon Red. Shh. Don't reveal my secret. I've been asking for two days. Let me out of the basement. Oh, I see someone's being very uh, naughty. Hold on, Devorn. After the stream, I'm going to head down to the basement. And I'm going to bring the stick with me now, this time. You need discipline. It puts the lotion in the basket. Please let me know. Some of you understand this reference. It puts the lotion in the basket or else it'll get uh, what was the line it'll get hosed with water I used to hate bugs but then it took mushrooms <laughs> or it gets the hose man that is such an awesome movie Buffalo Bill is literally me Give me context, Red. It's a scene from a psycho horror movie called Silence of the Lambs, which is about a serial killer and a detective, an FBI detective, 
who's hunting her uh, hunting him down and she gets the help of Hannibal who's like also a serial killer but in prison it's really really good movie and if you like serial killers and mis- uh, murder mystery kind of stuff do watch the Hannibal TV show where do you get those sexy scars red I fell down the stairs okay I think we are at our first roadblock which will require us to think like Leon to figure it out Hannibal lotion back shots hey father K mod is coastline atmosphere Hmm. I'm trying to find where to go because all the doors inside are locked. This mod is very old. It is. It's from 2006. He fell down the stairs while engaged in a firefight against Al Qaeda in the early 2000s. <laughs> Then will you and your wife and son not beat me with cameras after every stream? What the fuck? What the hell, Cameron? Did this come out before episode one? I think it did. I know the year. I forgot what month it came out. And yeah, Brad has versus Leon box boxing match. They're both oiled up and have killing intent. Who wins? I mean, Leon's are like 50 or 60 years old by this point. So obviously I have the edge over him in that regard. Today is a good day. Hazard, had, Hazard has done a stream and I'm playing Warhammer. Nice. Leon is an old guy? Yeah, when he made the closure, he was like 50. Hold on. What's that? Locked door. You have the what over him? Oh, God damn it! Get your minds out of the gutter. Back, back when... <laughs> I have the edge. It's a normal thing to say. Y'all are making it dirty sounding. The advantage over him. That's another way to say it. But Jesus Christ, what do I do here? Thanks, Red. I cannot unsee Microsoft Edge. Leon has the advantage of making eight hour mountains. Damn it. You're telling me Leon is older than my own father? He probably is. Rat is a very advantageous man. <laughs> Embossing. <laughs> Embossing. <laughs> hey, Toast. Did I miss a switch? I don't think I missed a switch. Did I? Chat, what do I do? I don't think any, anyone even played this. Like, people who are watching. Hey, Rad, what's your Steam name? It's the same as my YouTube name. But I don't accept friend requests, man. I'm sorry. I like this mod not because it's good, but it's about the nostalgia. How many frogs are there? Yeah, I think... No clipping is our only choice right now. Because I honestly just don't see what to do. It's auto-saved here. Okay, that's empty. That is also empty. I think this is supposed to break. Maybe? Hold on. I have an idea. Okay. Okay, never mind. I don't get it. I think... 
Okay, I know what happened. I know what happened. It auto-saved here, and I think whatever the trigger was, it broke to the next level. Hey, Ted Stapleton. My <laughs> Red's account name is My Boss Lady. <laughs> Lady. <laughs> hmm. What do you mean something is inside me? There is something inside you. A skeleton. It's not that. Okay. Thing is, Leon doesn't have a lot of maps. Like, he, like, uh, packs everything in one map. And, like, his six-hour long mod will have, like, a total of four maps in it. Are you using cheats? I'm forced to because I don't know what to do here. Hmm. Stream playing community conterminous maps when? Where are the community maps for Coterminus? Are they on ModDB? Cheater. A couple walkthrough. Hey, photo deno. How do you learn no clip in less than 1000? <laughs> Opinion on Yavi. <laughs> ModDB has an add-ons page. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. Is this where we're supposed to go? No, this is where we came from. We went there. Then we... Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Clarky. I don't fucking know, chat. What's going on? <laughs> hey, Doggy Diaries. My name is Abhir. Hey, welcome. Have you played Crack Life yet? Yeah, a lot of people have been asking me to play it since forever. But I'm, I don't know, I'm saving, saving it for a special occasion. Nice hacks, skid. My my dad owns Valve and can vac ban you. Please don't. Please don't. Okay, I don't know. Seven thirty hours. Yeah. Okay. The sun is coming up. It will be light soon. Okay. Rad, there's nothing inside me, you liar. Hey, Danilo. Black Mesa is on sale right now. Should I cop it? Oh, for sure. If you loved Half-Life or like playing Half-Life 2, Black Mesa is a really good game. It does, it does change up a few things about the way it is laid out. Like, you know, a few differences from the actual original. But it's still very good. Okay, this car does not aim that high. There we go. Opinion on Picoras. I love Picoras. What do you mean there's something inside me? God damn it. Do people generally not get the reference to Drive and that song? Can I play mods in Anniversary Edition of Half-Life? Yeah. Just copy-paste how you usually install mods and play it. Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. It's one of my favorite Beatles songs. I love it. Who's Leon? Leon? Leon's a very famous mod maker. Oh, God damn it. You're going into timeout, buddy. Hey, Baker Doe's, thanks for the dono, man. Hunt down the hazard, radiation hazard. Yeah, I was saying yesterday I I would love to be in, like, <laughs> Hunt down the Freeman, or would have loved to voice Mitchell Shepard. 
but it kind of makes sense that they act got an actual voice actor. Evil LeBron, here comes the sun. Have you finished Enfra or do you plan on finishing it? No, not really. I never finished it after I streamed it that one time on my channel. It's a really beautiful looking game, but I just hate it when I can't figure out what to do next. That's why I don't play a lot of puzzle games. I'm stupid. Look at this level. It's a vibe. Basic and nostalgic. Oh, for sure. I understand what you mean. Like early days of source modding. Back when every mod used default textures and... What the hell? Holy shit! Please die, please die, please die. Okay, got a few of them. What about the video on Project Hyperborea? You mean the hyper mod? Didn't I cover that in a video already? I think I did. When I talked about the hyper era. How do you have the beta? Just download the mega build of the beta from the hl2 beta website dot ru have you tried goal sourcing the goal source mapping yeah i have actually i actually tried to make a mod like three times and just stopped because the idea was too big to fit in a goal source mod I'm back from showering. What have I missed? No, what did we miss in your shower? No, I never played the GTA 4 DLCs. I played a little bit of uh, Lost and Damned, but it stuttered too much. Hire people to make it with you. I actually had a very good friend of mine making it with me, but um, we both just realized at the end that it's just not worth it because it won't work. Hey, when I throw, we're playing Coastline Atmosphere. Hunt down the Freeman did driving sections better than HL2 and 1 because you could just drive without stopping like Ryan Gosling. Where in HL1 and 2, you have to stop <laughs> like a cuck. <laughs> Make a video on fear. Yeah, like I was saying yesterday, there's so many videos to make, so little time. So many games to talk about. I love your broad life auto stream. Unfortunate that it's 30 seconds short. Oh, you mean... Oh, that was a test stream. Favorite game except HL. Um, actually, one of my, my all-time favorite game is RDR2. Believe it or not. And maybe after that, Skyrim or Oblivion, and then Half-Life. I believe in you. Thanks, Duplicate. Yeah, I generally think the portals or whatever, the triggers are broken now. Because of the Steam Pipe update. Because there's literally nowhere else to go. Me even Red is inside me. Have you considered doing a Elder Scrolls video? No, I was talking about this too yesterday that when you're like in delve deep into a niche, like how, how I am, like I'm in the Half-Life slash Half-Life 2 beta niche, it's not really easy to just go ahead and make a video about an RPG because that's so out of your, um, you know, usual content. You should drive in here now. How though? There's no path for me to drive through. Is there? You should bring your Jeep here. Okay. There was a prompt when you reached the area. Oh, I didn't read that because I was looking at the chat. I'm making a map based on Black Mesa incident from Roblox. From the one you played in that one video. Nice. 
Red say all this in a chills impression. Number 10, glass in baby food. Number 9, chicken head. Number 8, severed finger. Number 7, dead, dead frog in Pepsi can. What the fuck? Wait, where did my car go? Oh, it was over there. Red Wen Hammer Editor Stream. I actually thought about doing a mapping stream, but then again, I'm not a professional mapper. Mapper. Like I don't have any proper experience with it, apart from knowing the basic stuff. Okay, is that is is that how it's gonna be? Jesus Christ. You sound like an immigrant gas station owner. <laughs> That's me. Make a terrible meme mod and challenge viewers to speedrun it. Yo, like one of those Kaizo mods for Super Mario? Night call time? No, it's not a long road like yesterday. Do you use Hammer or Hammer++? Plus plus? Uh, I use Hammer++ plus plus for Half-Life 2 mapping and Jackhammer for, or just Jack, for uh, Half-Life 1 mapping. God damn, Leon. Hide spaces in the world for your driving section. What the fuck? Have you played Sweet Half-Life? I, ha I have not, actually. After I made the mistake of Pythagoras video, I learned that the mod author is from Japan, or, you know, I knew about that, but then I learned he made Sweet Half-Life and Pieces Like Us, which are also quite famous Half-Life 1 mods. Man, Leon loves to spam enemies in his mods. God damn. Just Jack. Yeah, chat. Just Jack. It looks like you're tired now because it looks like you're bored from streaming. I'm not bored. I'm just... You know, talk like that. I usually talk like... I'm on, like, drugs or something. That's how just I naturally sound. Plus, there's not a whole lot of crazy things going on in the game, so nothing for me to go schizo about, you know? Okay. Do you have any mods for Black Mesa you can recommend? Actually, no. I haven't played a lot of Black Mesa mods, because, like, the workshop mods don't work half the time since the workshop is broken. And, um... Apart from that, I guess there's um, Azure Sheep Extended. That's a good mod for Black Mesa, I guess. He's not bored, just on crack. Is there a lot of things going on in your Pakistan place, though? Like in my country? That's real nice, Leon. Thank you for these five fantastic looking barrels. No, nothing's going on in Pakistan, I guess. I mean, there were the elections. Can you do a video on Esma Arcade? I mean, I can do a video on anything. It's just about what first, what comes first. You know? Oh yeah, Azure Sheep, I love women. It's really charming. I mean, from what I played of Azure Sheep, it's really charming with the whole female uh, co-worker security guard thing. Kind of feels like a cheesy 90s action movie, a romance action movie. They hunger in Black Mesa would slap so hard. Yeah, P man. So compact this area so Unreal no vehicles would drive through air. Yeah. 
Oh, don't tell me I have to make this turn. Oh, no. Five quadrillion bullet ants versus the combine. <laughs> I think the bullet ants would win, for sure. Evil Red has be like, don't buy my membership. I mean, even normal Red has doesn't say buy my membership. It's just there if somebody wants to support the channel. Is Azure Sheep in Black Mesa a different version or remake? It's a remake, obviously. They're not going to port the Gold Source version over. Type up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right for 15 health. Now I'll take my chances with the 2 HP I have left. <sighs> okay. It's not a skill issue, Walter. I hate the combine shotgunner. I hate the combine shotgunner. Kid named Shotgun Combine Soldier. Turn on your camera. I don't have a camera. I'll take my chance, he said. I mean, I didn't know there was a shotgunner right around the corner. I hate these dudes so much. They're just as bad as the HECU shotgunners in Half-Life 1. Made a review for Half-Life Echoes? Not yet. I haven't. Bro, are you under 20? <laughs> I'm almost 30, man. Heat cam before face cam? Yeah, whatever, man. Sure. <laughs> if it makes Chad happy. You're playing a Leon mod. You should expect these things. I should. I should. You're that old? Yeah, man. I'm 29. See, back in my day, we didn't have mods who we used to imagine. I don't know where I'm going with this chat. <laughs> my, my schizophrenia isn't up to the mark today. Are you married? I am. It's time to rest, old man. Check me your email when you want. Okay, after this mod. Remember VHS tapes? Oh yeah, I do. I used to love the sounds the VCR would make when you would plop that in. That... Then we would press the play button and it would go crack. You know? It would make that sound. Yeah. Love old equipment. Oh boy. Back in my day, pogs weren't just a funny face you make online. <laughs> okay, Grandpa, let's get you back to bed. I'm not even 20 and I still have back in my day mentality. That's because in the past 20 or so years, things have rapidly changed. Like, rapidly. Okay, did something come up on screen? Because I didn't read it. Oh, this opened. Oh, that's nice. We just were goaded. Yeah. Like, the whole thing with the VHS getting scratched, and so it would ruin the quality of the VHS, that was, even that was a vibe. Okay, Grandpa, time to take your meds. <laughs> Are you on life support right now? Yeah, don't you know? People these days die as soon as they hit 30. You're not allowed to be old anymore. Oh, that opened the door. Oh. I still have one with a 32 inch CRT. Oh yeah, larger, like back in the day, 14 inch was like ginormous for normal, you know, normally. But then you would see like a 30 inch, 32 inch CRT and it would like, like take space in half of the room. 
back in my day we had landline phones yeah just like take the difference between 2009 and 2014 in just five years we went from a motorola razors to the iphone you know e even if though it was you know iphone one but still you know what i mean You're, you only got a year left yeah then they'll take me to the CBT chamber. Are you glad this came out in 2006 so you don't have to fight hunters? Oh, for sure. I can imagine Leon spamming like four hunters in a closed space. For sure. I'm genuinely miss, miss party walkers in the house tonight. Davy Jones gif? Jif? I've got a 29 inch and it's absolutely ginormous. <laughs> Can't believe he missed my message. Sorry, I was looking at the game, uh, Epic Player. What did you say? Can't see it. Back in my beta days, we didn't have any fancy schmancy mega builds. We had stick, two sticks on a rock. We had to share the rock. Yeah, like props to the whole community for doing the mega build stuff. Cause like, I can't even imagine how people experienced the beta maps before that. Because beta maps in their original state just don't run. The re real reason Valve called it Hammer is because of the pain. Hammer crashing deep into a project is as bad as Hammer nailing your nuts to a table. <laughs> yeah, Micah, I have played Postal 2. Will you ever post cringe? I mean, depends on people you ask. Some people think it's cringe. Some people think it's very based. So, yeah. Like, I uploaded the Duke video. And some random guy commented. Ah, so your content is as cringe as you are. I was like, okay. But man, do I love the paragraph commenters. Oh boy, do I love the paragraph. I don't read them. I'm just gonna be honest. I don't read. If if a comment is like longer than four or five lines, I don't read it. Right now, I'm busy fixing some 2003 combat animations to have five fingers. Nice. They will be important in Mega Patch 5. When's the Mega Patch 5 coming out though? Any timeline on that? You can do the rum shaker, huh? The HEV shaker? Give me. <laughs> yeah, not reading all that. I'm sorry. Red has been unaffected by negative commenters. There used to be a commenter chat like two years ago. Every video, every video I would post, this goddamn person would come on there and type the same message every time or a, you know, different version of the same message. You know, good lying thief, you stole this content. And I was like, what? What did I steal? And then, ah, you. so you do steal content. You're a thief, a low-life thief. And I couldn't figure out what that person was referring to. What did I steal? Was he talking about the beta maps? Of course, the funniest thing that I remember from that whole interaction is that that dude had like a cat girl PFP and I was like, okay, I kind of understand what this, what this guy, you know, is like. You stole the stream, Radhaz. Sorry, bub. I can't believe Radhaz would blatantly steal like this. I did not. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Haters tune into every stream the picosecond you started just to hate. For sure, I can't even begin to understand the dedication of haters. Not with just me, with, but with, you know, any somewhat, no, uh, you know, semi-known, semi semi-famous YouTuber. The energy they spend just to hate on them. Valve tried to cover up the Gooncade in the beta by saying it was actually a manhack arcade. Remember what they took from you? 
YouTube comments is a wild place. It is. It is. And that's the reason, chat. That's the reason why I totally got rid of Twitter and uh, Discord. And I would suggest you to do the same. I'm not saying delete your Discords and Twitters. Just don't don't spend more time than you need to on there. Because the other day I was like saying that whenever you look up a YouTuber's documentary, you know, one of those videos, the downfall of, I don't know, blippity bop the famous youtuber it would always start with a discord message like he received a discord message and i was like oh boy okay the title out of context is crazy <laughs> i logged out of twitter for good because it was giving brain rot yeah same same like i would follow really nice pages and people on twitter but when i would browse my feed I would see all these goddamn... The hell? Chat. I'm tripping, chat. Chat, I'm tripping the hell out. Glippity glop goes crazy. Ah, oh, blippity bop, I remember <laughs> Max pain intensifies. Do you like goatee beard? Goatsy beard? Oh, goatee beard. Currently riding the fall of Rad has as you speak, Rad. No, John Boggart. Don't do that. You'll ruin me. But yeah, I would like go around my feed and just notice people posting things like hey do you know you guys know about that guy from that place he's such an asshole and i would scroll down a little more and i would see you know the guy just being mentioned writing his post and he's going about that guy do you know that guy he's such an asshole like what just get along just get along why do you hate each other The map is leaking. I can't believe he forgot to patch up this this wall. The entire video is just a re-upload of this stream, no changes? What do you mean? The downfall of Red Ass, full story. My downfall will begin when people realize that my what my contributions were in the uh, Vietnam War and what I did there and also how I was basically one of the first people to come up with MK Ultra and kind of ruin the American society that's when I'll be truly cancelled just get along internet doesn't understand this phrase yeah unfortunately <laughs> One of the funniest experiences in my, like, early in my career, and I'm not talking, like, very recent, very a long time ago. Like, I had, like, a thousand, two thousand subscribers, and I used to make a lot of beta videos. I don't know which server it was, but I joined a, a Discord server about Half-Life, and immediately, as soon as I checked their general uh, section, someone's typing, Have y'all seen Radiation Hazard? I mean, his videos are okay, but he feels like the type of guy who would lie on in his videos. And I was like, what? What makes you think that? Why do you think I would lie? Enough goon talk, I'm acting out. I can't believe Rat tortured people during MKUltra. More like the evidence will be the past stream where the chat was being weird. Yeah, public Discord servers are can cancer. They are. Why would someone type that kind of thing? I don't know, man. I don't know. That was the starting of the phase where I started to hate public Discord servers. I mean, uh, content creators go on uh, social media like Twitter and Discord and stuff like that to, you know, socialize with their viewers and potential viewers, you know. What the hell just happened, chat? 
Wait, what? Okay, I think the viz groups or portals or whatever you call it ain't working right. What's your favorite cuisine? So we have a dish called uh, karai. Karahi. I don't know how to say it in like the English accent. But we say it like chicken karai. Well, fuck, I can't even say it in the right in the Urdu accent either. But it's like this really spicy as shit uh, dish made with chicken and like 12 different spices that would make Colonel Sanders blush. Oh, Steam forums are like the wasteland of the internet. What do you have? You guys seen chicken curry? No, chicken curry is like a little tame in terms of spices. Karahi is like spicy as shit. Yeah, what Arisha wrote. That's the spelling. Karahi. Chicken karahi, beef, mutton. It all works. But yeah, Steam forums. Have you guys seen when you like get a new game and or you check the Gmod forums and there's a guide how to run Gmod. I bet whoever posted that thinks it's the funniest shit ever. <laughs> it's gonna be so funny. It's gonna be a guide, but not really. Lol. War crime or genocide? I feel like war crimes are more interesting. <laughs> how to reload guides. Yeah, how to jump guides. Like, bitch, shut, shut the fuck up. You're taking valuable space on the front page of this game's guide section. Guys, I will tell you how to shoot in this game. You press the left click button. Like, shut up, bitch. It's time for, it's time for school. Pack your bag. Bro, have ever been jealous on someone who stole your YouTube content? That has never happened to me. How to open the game, how to goon. I hate how low effort steam guides that try to be funny. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this mod uses a lot of shotgunners for some reason. But do, I do appreciate people who post actual, like, really, really well-written guides. It's like a whole fucking book in a Steam guide, and it shows you each and everything. How to stay still tutorial. Also, the funny skeleton will kick you off in a cliff into a volcano. What? Yeah, sometimes when I look from look at the game and then look through the chat, I see the weirdest messages just popping up. Yeah, Steam guides. How to swing the crowbar. Yeah. Shotgunners or hunters? Honestly, I would rather fight shot... Uh, sorry, hunters. Because there's a chance that I can dodge their attacks. Shotgunners, you... If you don't shoot first, you're done for. You need the key card. Of course, it's it's not a Leon mod. If it, if it doesn't have... Key cards. Is it okay if I post a clip of this stream? Oh, go crazy. I'm actually kind of surprised people haven't clipped a lot of my stuff. I would do it myself and post it on a clips channel, like how Dante's does it, but... Yeah, it's too much for me to do right now. Personally, I think Op 4 is non-canon. Well, dude, bro. Maybe Blue Shift 2. You could have wrote that in the previous donation. <laughs> Man had to flex. But, uh, yeah, the whole canon thing is never gonna be fully explained in a way that even Mark Laidlaw was like, the canon itself is non canon. Like, come on, Mr. Mark, please make some sense. Hunters are really easy to deal with. If there's a fizz prop, or if you have like um, the alternative ammo for the AR2, that's also pretty good shortcut. Somebody make a rad has out of context video. Some people have actually, but it's really old, old videos.
Hire me red, pay me hundred, buy me bread red has. <laughs> what is the average rate of an editor if you do hire one? I've never looked into it. Like supposedly if I were to hire a video editor for some reason, how would how much would I have to pay? Mark writes some weird stuff. I never looked into his other projects. But from what I've read in the reviews, he's a really good book writer. Like, his novels are really good. Do you like hurting other people? Yeah. I'm an asshole. How many millions do you make per stream? When were you planning on doing that VTuber thing? Oh, not anytime soon. I had an idea before, but it turns out that the software is paid, and if I were to get a model, that is also paid. I think I have to go back. I became an asshole unintentionally. Thing is... It all depends on where you... By the way, I was joking, I'm not really an asshole. Why would I hurt other people? I just drop, nap I just drop napalm uh, on people. That's it. But uh, it really depends on the type of people you hang out with. Because, like, their, their personality kind of brushes off onto you, like, unknowingly, and you pick up those, you know, of course there's an invisible barrier here. Hey, you don't pay for the software, if you know what I mean. Nah, I looked, <laughs> I actually searched for it, and you, you know, you can't acquire it otherwise. I'm gonna make a special mod for you, filled with shotgunners. I'm gonna report you to the police. Oh god damn it, speak of the fucking devil. Did you frequent HL2 DM? No, not really. I didn't frequent any multiplayer games apart from CS 1.6 because uh, we only used to have access to bootleg CDs, which were like cracked CDs over here that shops used to sell. So like, we only had servers, cracked servers that local cafes ran for CS. So that's what I would mostly play as a kid. My shot read I gooned 200%, okay. No, not true. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. Stop swearing. Can we make it Christian friendly? This is a family friendly Christian Minecraft server. Don't worry about it. But you come into my house and start rearranging my furniture? Ow. Oh. Dare you. I remember when internet cafes used to be a thing. Yeah, like back then when computers and internet were not as common here, a lot of people would spend their afternoons or evenings in um, internet cafes. He o mio. <laughs> Dancing, walking, rearranging furniture. <laughs> Are you an ex-former marine or police force? No, I don't have the guts to do that. I actually once decided to join the army after high school, but I freaked the hell out on my way to the recruitment center. So I just stopped, ate a shawarma, and went back home. Hmm... feel like the card we need is over here. Wow. Broken portals. Of course, there's two of them. Good choice. Rad joined the oiled up force instead. 
that shawarma saved you. Yeah. I don't know why I was so, like, fixated on joining the army, but on my way to the center, I, like, started to really think about it, and I was like, yeah, this is not really what I want to do. Someone make a personalized version of beta filled with combine shotgun. <laughs> Yeah, C okay, so CS 1.5 was actually more famous than 1.6 for some reason. Maybe it was free or something? Because we'd have like five 1.5 servers and only two or three 1.6 servers with very low amount of people playing them. There's a beautiful Mediterranean cafe by my house owned by two Pakistani brothers. It is the best food around. Yeah, like... Not gonna lie, even though a lot of things aren't that great, Pakistani food and Indian food do really slap hard. Hey, ugly bad. Thanks for the dono, man. Doesn't source automatically handle reflections on water materials? Why is the water here a solid shade of poo that ignores all the lighting? You mean this one? I think Leon used one of the cheap, cheaper textures or the DX7 textures, because like the mod is from 2006. If you used one of the cut or the non-used, because there's a, like a lot of water textures in uh, Hammer, and I think he used the one that's not used in anywhere in the game, and also the cheaper variant of it. I like 1.5 more too. Yeah, a lot of people did. Remember to check your email. I will. I told you at the end of the stream, end of the mod. Hey, Majestic Gray. I could eat a biryani right about now. Oh, me too, man. I bet you haven't played Bioshock. I have played Bioshock. Goodbye, Skanda. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, interestingly, this is something one of my friends told me. I don't know, maybe if there's a modder in the... Uh, experienced modder in the chat, maybe they can confirm. But, like, if there's, like, 10 or 12 water textures in Hammer, Half-Life 2 actually uses, like, 3 or 4 of them. The rest of them all go unused. Like, um, the water you see in City 17 is all using water canals, I think, or water sewers. And all the water you see in Highway 17 uses water cheap. What is gooning? Gooning is when you, um, you know, talk with a person in a really nice manner and will wish them well, you know? So like, you would say, I am gooning him, you know? So that would mean I'm talking to him in a very nice manner. It's true, okay? John Bogart, yeah, I, I know John Bogart's a professional mapper, so he knows. Mod, you're playing? This is uh, Coastline to Atmosphere. I thought Gooding was browsing something awful. No, that it's actually not. Let's all goon the stream. I will witness the end of the world. Yep, you check out as a rad has stream chatter. become rad the madman I love it when you know I love it how different the audiences are in the comments and in the chat like in the videos you'll have comments like really nice video rad loved it really enjoyed it keep up the good work you know that'll be most of the 90% of the comments and then I'll stream and the first thing I'll see in the chat would be Rad, I'm gooning right now. I thought gooning was just a different meaning of edging. No, it's not. Rad, you devil, I just read, I just read the definition of gooning. <laughs> How is your day, Red? 
Ah, pretty boring. I had to do some errands around the house. Then I got a little bit of off time, so I worked a little bit on my video that I'm making about Gunman Chronicles. And then again I had to run some errands and now I thought, you know, I should stream to end the day. End the day. End the day. Yeah, I can't talk. Red, I'm wishing you a happy birthday right now. Thank you. Thank you. That has totally not gone over, like, go gotten stale, that joke. Why don't you play Black Mesa on Steam? Dream. Because Black Mesa doesn't work right on my computer anymore. Curse you, Red, you lied to me. <laughs> you think the 7 hour war could be successfully encapsulated in the mod? Or will it be always be remembered in the hit game Hunt, Hunt Down the Freeman? Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe? But like, you'd have to pull off some very, very complicated tricks to show the actual scale of that war. I kind of faintly remember another mod showcasing the 7 hour war but in a really nice way, not Hunt Down the Freeman. Like, it did it in a way that the war was going on but you witnessed like a small part of it. So it gave you a really nice idea of how the big, how big the war really is, but you get to experience just a little bit of it. Rad's chat has a stale joke, say it ain't so, chat. <laughs> Hey, Resident Evil nerd. How's the dark and gritty child labor filled life going? I have a question for you. Do you want to check out our mod? I can give you a download if you want. I I usually wait for like the public release. Because like what I do is, why I say that is, is because once there's a public release and I make a video about it, then I can share the download link too, you know? Because if I make a, oh, I found the key card. Because if I make a video about an in-development build, and people will start then asking about a download link, so... Isn't Urban Chaos still wor being getting worked on? You mean that Op4 mod? I think it is. Hey, Furbies! Yeah, 1187 actually did a pretty good job at showing the um, war in it. Okay, so I found the key card. Where do I put it? Would you own a World War One shotgun? You mean one of those 18, 1897 trench guns? Those Winchesters? I would go for those Win um, Remingtons or whatever the model Max Payne uses in Max Payne 1. Those look so good. It's a demo. Was there ceiling tiles on the floor there? This one's? 11... 1897 is the best shotgun ever made. I loved using it in uh, World at War. What's the goofiest Half-Life 2 mod you've ever played? There's many. There's Kill the Monk... Kill the Monk 2. Uh, MCM. Another one where we play as uh, Isaac Kleiner. Remington 870, I think. I got a YouTube short about W World War One trench shotguns. Where are you from? I'm from Pakistan. South Asia. Do you think dual wielding fits Half-Life? I don't think so. I don't think Gordon's the type of person who would like look at two pistols and go, yeah, I'm gonna dual wield this because it'll look cool. Dual wielding doesn't even make sense in real life if you think about it. Your aim goes down, your control goes down. But it kind of makes sense for like games like Max Payne or Call of Duty because, you know, you know, action games and you want to look cool in those. Is YouTube your full-time job? Uh, for the nine past nine months, it has been. Uh, but I think I might be starting work again soon. Who knows? 
But uh, I will continue YouTube, nevertheless. Oh, god damn it. Hey, brick shitter. <laughs> brick shitter. <laughs> Are we your little pog champs? Yeah, Grant. Okay, brick shitter says, brick shitter here with a quick question. What is your least favorite aspect of the beta community? Thanks for all the content and all the laughs. Cheers. Well, thanks for the dono, man. My least favorite aspect about the beta community is the... Well, there's minor things, nothing too major. But one is that there's some sort of animosity between beta fans, you know, beta modders. I've seen that, like, uh, I don't want to name any names, but I was talking to this one very prominent modder and I mentioned another guy to him. Like, okay, so you did this here, but that other modder this, did this, and he immediately changed his tone and started to become like belligerent for some reason. And I was, you know, I, I acted like, okay, whatever. And the other thing is that there's just so, so, so many beta mods popping up out of nowhere that go nowhere. And it just, just feels wrong, man. Just don't make a beta mod if you can't finish it. Hey, official MX. Hey, Skip. May I ask you something? Sure, group. Why don't fans want to admit beta was not better than release? That's another thing. That's another thing. If you watch my ever first ever beta video, I kind of went like, in the middle of the video, I went like, this would have not worked if this was Half-Life 2. Because it's literally reminding me of Blade Runner. Half-Life should not be reminding you of anything. It should be original. Like, that's the thing with Half-Life. It sets examples, it doesn't follow examples. But still, people don't recognize that. They just say, no, the beta was really good looking and beta would have been much better. That's, as someone who made like 50 plus videos about the beta in four years, trust me guys, it really wasn't, it really wasn't that good than the retail game. On its own, I definitely, on its own, it's like amazing. You know, because you get to see your favorite game in this new coat of paint. But I would never replace it with uh, the retail version. Oh, for fuck's sake. Beta was creepy as heck. It was. It was. But it kind of was all over the place, if you know what I mean. Almost to the point where the game, the, like, it lost its, almost lost, lost its original personality in a way, like, you know? What is your opinion about Rudolf Hitler? Jesus fucking Christ, man, stop asking about Adolf Hitler. Your choice of music for... Oh, God damn it! let me get my health in peace. I really wish I had like a slam or something here. What is the mod you're playing? It is coastline to atmosphere. Hey, solid enough. Yesterday's stream was awesome. Today we're just being chilling. Oh, oh God damn it. It's empty. I love you too, Billy Mays. Can you just check your email? I swear to God, if it's not funny, if it's not funny, I'm gonna vaporize you. <laughs> okay. Okay, you get to live. You get to live, clam head. Head clam. What's your opinion on Bar Narito Mussolini? This is the meme he sent me, chat. This is what he's been asking me to look at for like the past 30 minutes. <laughs> uh, 
the only reason I find this funny is because because of, of this fucking little g- smiling Gordon in the front of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Rad, my brother just tried to stop me from watching you. Traitor. Treason. I am going to locate him and have him sent to the CBT chamber for re-education purposes. Opinion on the British Raj. I mean, I really can't predict what Pakistan or, or even Pakistan could have existed without the British Raj. Because if it didn't happen, we'd still be one country, Pakistan and India. So that's that, I guess. 7 out of 10, meme the boys going places. <laughs> I am the British. Hey, Miss Misha Korea. Smiling Gordon on a road trip. <laughs> Oh shit, I saw ZMA's Fake Factory Remastered gameplay video, man. It looks so goddamn awesome. That is going to be such an awesome mod. Can't wait for May 1st. Leon can make all these fancy and complex looking little sequences but can't design a level for the life of him. Hey Colin. Are there old HL1 mods that aren't as popular as other you'd recommend? Hmm. Honestly, the only one I would really recommend people is Day Hunger from that time period, but that's kind of famous there were a lot of other mods like uh, Ispatel and uh, Toad Sangust or something some oh well go oh god oh god hold on hold on chat But those were okay mods, or at least for me, nothing too special about them. They're like old as hell. Gadolf Schmittler, Chancellor of Germany. Okay. Hey, Untitled. Is there any chance you can kick Frank out of the stream? Okay, I'm not seeing his messages. Hey, Cooper. Wait, weren't you weren't you already in the stream? Papa Hazard, sing us a song. Super, thank you. Okay, you want you want me to sing a song? You asked for it. Sticking at your gut for the Rizzler. You're so skibbity. You're so phantom tax. I just wanna be your Rizzler. Do you think it would be possible to eat man hacks? I mean, it's metal. Stop Riz maxing, Rat. <laughs> Rat, stop it. Hey, Black Chaos. Do you recommend any sniper mods? Can you say, I drive. Never talk again. <laughs> Deal was a birthday song. Oh. Oh. Okay. Please know I'm a suck start an AR2. <laughs> Bad stop raising me. <laughs> stop yapping and focus on the gooning tutorial. Oh yeah, yeah. That was crusty. Hey Rad, have you played Thunder's Leaves? I actually have on stream. It's a really nice looking mod. But I remember I don't remember the details of it, but I remember being kind of like irritated at some point by something. Never finished it.
Hey Erby, you're not wrong. Welcome to the stream and welcome to Coastline to Atmosphere. Are you an opium member? What does that even mean? Oh, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Grup. Planning to stream Halfquake? It will be a funny stream. What is even Halfquake even about? I, I I think there's like three of them. Three three parts of it. You got that right, Golden Buzzer. <laughs> yeah, the audience starts cheering. Opinions on gas prices. I think pe petrol and diesel should be banned from being used in cars, and all cars should be required to run on uh, uh, sunflower oil. I think that would be a much better way to conserve our resources and costs. Sadism. Half life is about sadism. Half quake is about sadism. <laughs> I want to be the guy. Oh, no. Hey, Matsu. Hmm. You see? My specs are like a Ryzen 5 and a RX... RX 580. Opinion on Playboy Cardi. I don't listen to modern rap. I just don't like it. What is your most anticipated mod, upcoming mod? Oh yeah, Revance is awesome. Operation Black Mesa, Inhuman. Source World is something I discovered recently. And um, Alternus is nice. Hey Gresh. Opinion on having opinions. Very difficult, if I'm honest. If you don't have the right one, you get lynched. Sunflower oil can damage cars, though. No, no, if you have them filtered... <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> yeah, most of the time I'm just talking out of my ass. And hoping something would stick. But nothing does, to be honest. What are your opinions on existing? If I'm honest, I'd rather not. But you, know, since, but you know, since I don't have a choice, so I have to make the best of it. Any gold source mods you're looking forward to? Think carefully. <laughs> oh yeah, there is one. It's pretty well known. A lot of people are waiting for it. It's a uh, hunt down the Freeman classic. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking, Irby. My car runs on dreams and spite. <laughs> That's a car I want to. It would be... Oh. Okay. Day of Defeat campaign. Didn't somebody make already, like, make a bunch of mods like that? Please st don't stop existing. You're keeping us sane. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I'm glad I found a bunch of... Schizomaxers like myself on this platform. My car runs on rainbows and clouds. Undone the Freeman Classic is actually good though. It is, it is. Uh, I was talking about it yesterday. The only thing I kind of find weird about it is like some of the mapping. And they themselves have admitted this, that they need a proper mapper for their project. Some of their maps looks very out of proportion, or the layout is just weird, weird in a way. But it, but it does show that mod's current version does show that a lot of effort put was put into it. Do you think combine helicopters use gas? 
They probably use the uh, energy, those energy packs that fall from, you know, combine soldiers, those kind of things. But one thing is kind of curious, how do how did that chopper in Half-Life 2 in Water Hazard drop so many mines? Some might say it was teleportation, but you know, Combine haven't perfected teleportation like that. You know? Like it drops so many mines onto the water. Gotta love this challenging chopper battle. Oh, it's the best. It's so challenging. Half the time I was looking at chat. This mod is pretty cool. I like the atmosphere. It's melancholic. Yeah, it definitely has that sort of like early source mod feel to it. Which is really charming in a way. Very, very different from modern day mods. I too vibe with it. And it's kind of the reason I'm playing it. Inside of you, there are two wolves. One red, one has. Plot hole. The infinite mines is a plot hole. Energy domes. Hmm. Maybe the helicopter is a mine? Yeah, but it physically doesn't make sense. Where does it store all those balls, like mines. Would be a goddamn Leon mod with, without 8 million soldiers spawning out of nowhere. Did you see the remaster trailer? I did. It, it makes the game look so, so nice. Mod is... Coastline to atmosphere. Of course, more soldiers are. Yep, one. I think these drops three at a time. I don't know if that's an actual limit or. Wouldn't be a Leon mod if it wasn't also broken. Where does Red display his removed balls? Uh, at the Louvre. Or whatever that place is called. Maybe the chopper has a mini mine factory inside it. Yeah, it's like a... Plot hole, to be honest. Mona Rada. Okay, I flicked a switch. What happened? Oh, this happened. Nice, Leon. Good job. Hey, casual. Bro, please sing Blue Smurf Cat. Blue Smurf Cat doesn't have lyrics. Oh, boy. Okay, I thought I was stuck in there or something. Hunter Chopper P is stored in the Hunter Chopper balls. I told you, Micah, I have played Postal 2. Would you like to sign my petition? You're gay? Okay. And <clears throat> oh yeah, it does it, it did have lyrics? We live, we love, we lie. That old goddamn late early two thousand ten song. I mean, calling someone gay as an insult, I don't know, what is this, 2002? Oh my god, dude, that's so gay. <laughs> like, okay. Red ass, I'm gay for you. Okay, that's concerning now. I'm married. Oh, 
unless you're like a fully complete build of 2001 Half-Life 2, I'm sorry, we can't be in a relationship. Did you play San Andreas back in the day? Oh yeah, on the PS2, on my old Sony CRT. You're gay? That gay belongs to you? <laughs> so yeah, chat, you're gay. What do you think Hunt Down the Borealis aka Half-Life 4 would have been like? <laughs> I feel like it would have been rip-offs of other famous movies and games if Hunt Down the Freeman had actually gotten like a sequel. Okay, yeah, I know. I know what to do. Hate from Lithuania. <laughs> Thanks. I'm trying to find my biggest hater who I can get into a shirtless wrestling match with them, oiled up. How many gays does Radaz have in his basement? Radaz, I'm not a complete 2000 build, but I am an incomplete HL2 beta mod with one developer. <laughs> Nah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Imagine me spending like... If I would were to spend like 8 hours here. Where am I getting shot from? Oh. Red has. I'm your biggest hater. Fight me right now. <laughs> Pakistan is still nicer than Pak isn't Stan. <laughs> nah, no, Pakistan can't be nice. It's like playing life on hard difficulty with a bunch of Halo modifiers turned on. <laughs> Rad, I'm your biggest hater. Oil up. <laughs> oh wow, okay. Will you make a video about the huge Half-Life Alpha leak? I mean, uh, Tyler already made it, so it, it wouldn't serve any purpose if I were to make a video about it and just, you know, talk about the same things again. I'm not your biggest hater. Please don't fight me. I don't want to get killed. <laughs> that has the streets need a second cooking video. I always wanted to do a barbecue video next, but it never came together, you know, because I have to arrange the whole thing, in a way. Okay. Okay, Leon. Oh, okay, Leon. Wait. Oh, there it is. This is one of the worst arenas to fight this goddamn ship in. <sighs> Pakistan is so bad, where is Radistan? That's what Pakistan will be called once I'm uh, elected president and we do a total reform of the whole country. Okay, two shots, that's it. Make a video where you're cooking pasta and breaking it in, in half. Nah man, the uh, my Italian viewers will murder me. This looks very cool visually. Yeah. Leon does have has his way with the visuals, but not not a whole lot with his gameplay design. He just uses, so he uses enemies as if this is a doom map. As long as you don't go crazy with power. Hey, Hydroponic. Okay. Maybe there's some new update to YouTube. Because there are, they are updating YouTube on the back end. I don't know why people are getting 
problems with their CPUs being overrun, overpower, overused with the chat window. I don't know. What was all of this even about? Why? Why did I come here? Oh, I forgot to switch. Okay. Many, many enemies. Yeah. Because I was saying when I was playing uh, the um, other mod, was it? What? Strider Mountain. Strider Mountain. Because like it felt like Leon is like a boomer shooter mapper kind of guy and he designs his maps as if he's designing for a boomer shooter even though half-life 2 is not a boomer shooter in any capacity youtube with ad blocker was slowing down my pc too any add-on you use on top of YouTube, like uh, back in the day, I started using vidIQ, which, you know, provides some analytics, extra analytics. That started to slow down YouTube. Uh, ad blocker also slow downs YouTube for some reason. I don't know. Leon's like 60? Yeah, might be 60 by this point. He did make a lot of... Yeah, like, I think he's making a lot of Ion Fury maps now, these days. Okay. Indestructible. Indestructible uh, signpost there. Isn't it like 3 a.m.? It's almost... Oh, shit. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I am talking about. It's almost midnight here. Hey Rad, do you drive? I drive. There's something about you. It's hard to explain. What is this mod about? It's like a sequel to Half-Life 2 from like the mod is like from 2006 and you're like trying to hunt down Breen drive the jeep inside. Of course not there but here instead. Oh god. Oh dear god. Good god how many soldiers. Seriously, man. And the amount... It's not even that the amount of soldiers is a problem. Even in rare cases, Half-Life 2 does it. But... There's a way to do it, man. There's a way to artificially make the player feel like they're under pressure. Like they should be under pressure right now. But Leon just pops like 20 soldiers out of nowhere and says, Good luck, have fun. Why are you like Ryan Gosling? Ryan Gosling! Him in his host body. Leon and way too many fucking enemies in one place name a better duo. For sure. <laughs> For sure. Wait, where did my- okay, there it is. I thought- I thought he removed my AR2 or something. Closure is pretty fun to think about because because it came out before Official 3 did. Yeah, for the longest time I used to think that Leon made the closure after he read the epistle or something. But then I remembered Leon doesn't really care about the lore, like at all. And like often people call him out on that. Like Leon, your mod isn't very lore friendly. And he's like, I really don't care if it's not. And everybody's like, okay. Oh, 
Leon doesn't need to read. <laughs> Giga chat, Leon. <laughs> yeah, like... You know, his mod would be even more famous if they weren't, you know, using elements from the story. Are these two striders that I have to fight? Hello, Mr. Strider. So, like, ten rockets each? Leon, your best friend or cousin? Leon's the one who made this mod. Thanks, Leon. Very cool. But if you, like, think about it, it does make sense. Like, why would a 50-year-old man who makes maps for fun really care about what the story is for a game like this? You know? Okay. I think the hits are reduced. You know what I said about Op 4 and BS? Now I think HL2 and Ep Ep2 2 aren't canon. Episode 1 is definitely canon. I see you haven't taken your meds either, dude, bro. That's very cool. <laughs> hey DM, I hope chat isn't gooning. Chat is on a mind of it of their own. Hey Nathan, Leon really said get good after putting fifty fucking enemies in his mods. <laughs> I like men. That's great. Whatever makes you happy, man. You got the rad has seal of approval. Combine discovered my sausage crate. What do I do now? Why do you have sausages in a crate? You made me edge because of the stream, Jesus Christ. Okay. Half-Life Timeline. Quiver, Hunt Down the Freeman, Episode 1, HLA, Quake. What the fuck? Quiver didn't even come out. Like, in its original form, or whatever it was. Hey, Megon. If you don't play Leon mods, you like men. If you don't play Leon mods, you like men. You like men! <laughs> Checked by truly on Patreon. <laughs> what is your upcoming video based on? Uh, Gunman Chronicles. It's an old game from 2000 running on the Half Life engine. Which I think is one of the most underrated thing I've ever played. And I was surprised to see how great it is. Hey, Napoli. She quiver till I Half Life. Okay. Nah, 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 bruh. Nah, bruh, you're not cooking. You don't like Leon mods? How does it feel to belong to the community? <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with uh, Leon mods. Are you ha half life able? Find a way to open this gate. Okay, Leon. Whatever you say, sir. Oh, a path leading up to a hill? Okay. A bench. Hmm. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Leon. Very cool. See Leon on my coastline till I add more of my sphere. <laughs> <laughs> Halo 2 level design. <laughs> wow, this has more stops in this than Water Hazard does. I hate it, thanks. <sighs> really hard to rack your brain for that one. Good job it had the text prompt. <laughs> Find a way to open the gate that blocks your jeep. No way. No way, Leon. You don't say. Say it ain't so. What the fuck? Hello? 
peak level design, I agree. <laughs> you never mentioned your middle brother, brother Biohazard. I met him at my con. <laughs> Please do face reveal, it will increase your popularity. I really doubt that. You know what I look like, chat? I look like Ron Perlman. Per Perlman. You know who's Ron Perlman? Search him up. Brain rot level design. So that's why I'm scared of doing um, face face reveal. Ratatouille music. I'm gonna start my next map with a text prompt. You have to shoot the thing. Find a way to use door now. I like how in every Leon mod, the scenery and the setting just changes so drastically. Like in uh, Strider Mountain, you were like supposedly on a mountain, but then you were like in a, you know, normal city area, but then again, you were on a mountain again. Find a way to walk forward. You voiced the Fallout intros. I did. Looks like Ted Backman in Nuclear Medication 2. Oh shit, yeah, I had uh, like uh, I did that on purpose to do a silhouette reveal like that. Virgin environmentally directing versus Chad Lee on maps. Do the puzzle to get rid of the gate blocking your Jeep. Text pop. <laughs> Leon. Leon never changes. For sure. For sure. Red, would you get high and wave your finger if you forgot your pen? What the f- I feel like Half-Life 2 was a fine enough closure before the episode considering the first game didn't have a concrete closure either. Now it's just uncertain for no reason. Exactly. Exactly, Disc. Half-Life 2 had the perfect ending. Green was dead. G-Man came in and plucked Gordon out of there again. That's it. Slate is wiped and ready to be filled in with new stories, new characters, new settings. But no! Gabe Newell was like, we need to make episodes, Valve guys. Come on. Make like 10 episodes in 3 years and print me money. And like a year later they were like, I don't think episodes are gonna work out in the future. And so they just stopped after episode 2. Don't get me wrong. Episode 1 and 2 are great. Episode 2 is amazing in some regards. But come on, man. It just... It feels weird for me. Like, I still remember finishing Half-Life 2 for the first time and being so awestruck by the end. And feeling like, oh my god, that is such a great ending. And then learning that episode 1 is coming out and it's gonna continue Half-Life 2 again. Huh. In a good timeline, we would have had like Half-Life 2 around 2009 or 2011. And by this point we would have had like remakes and reboots or something or spin-offs starring Barney or Alex and Adrian or something. Leon maps are so good looking, I want to live there. <laughs> A lot of source maps do have that feeling. The so moment I saw Half-Life Alex ending, I cried. Oh yeah, it was like a... It, it felt like a weight was lifted off your shoulder when you saw that ending, you know? You do have a spin-off featuring Alex though. But yeah, man, like, think about... Oh boy. Crash is imminent. Game is about to crash, fellas. Stop them. Oh no. Is this supposed to happen? Is this supposed to happen? Okay. Get in it anyways. It's not letting me. I touched it. Dude, bro, there you go. 
Oh. Oh, I didn't. I forgot it auto saved. Why, of course, there's a shotgunner behind the fucking. What is my buggy doing, chat? What the fuck just happened? Uh, you okay, bud? Buggy has a mind of its own. Feels like it. The buggy is buggy. It's 420 and it's tweaking. <laughs> okay, let's try this again, chat. I think it got stuck on something, didn't it? Should I move it back? Oh. Okay. Please don't kill me, buggy. Good buggy. Good buggy. Hey, T-boy, no, this is another Leon map mod. Drive the Jeep inside. <laughs> Such an old school way to make games, you know? Drive the Jeep outside. Oh, was there another route? Can I turn left? There's only one way, Leon. Your jeep is out of fuel. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. Good fucking riddance. Oh no. Wait. Don't tell me. This one is going to blow? I'm about to blow! What the fuck is this mod? Okay. Is the is the buggy dead? It's not. It's actually not. Okay. Well, the buggy got Ambaru calmed. Hey, Mr. Sexy Man. Half-Life mod, but the creator hates the player. Red, why did you goon a lot? I don't know, man. It's just a part of who I am. Yoink. Oh. Yoink. It hit the fucking ceiling. This mod is crazier than Strider Mountain. To be honest, Strider Mountain wasn't this irritating to play. It was actually kind of fun, but you know, it was the same thing again and again. My, the case in point, now that the Jeep has stolen a chunk of the player's health, pretty soldiers. <laughs> Give me some health, man. Try Held Hours 2 yet? Uh, no. Because I honestly can't run it. I don't think I can. Plus, even if I could, I couldn't really buy it right, right now. Oh, a shotgunner. What a surprise. Yeah. Honestly, in my memory... I always remember that the shotgunners in Half-Life 2 always you knew they were coming, right? From a distance. This one just pops one right in front of you. Yeah. Do you think shotgunners look cute under their helmets? Yeah, yeah, they do. I couldn't buy it, right? I mean, the money I'm receiving right now isn't immediately going into my pocket I'll have to wait like a month or something what's your least favorite HL2 based episode chapter episode one's starting is so goddamn slow I hate it it's the reason why I don't play it a lot Mm. 
most unpopular Half-Life 2 Steam mod. <laughs> Hold on, Chan. I'm in the bathroom. I'm right over. Alright. Wait. I didn't left the stream here. I was in the bathroom. Was this here before? Wait. Okay, so there's one quick save I... Wait, what? Weird. I mean, I don't know. I, I left in a hurry. Like, I just got up and just went to the bathroom. But I, I remember, like, the mouse was like this. Like, I remember this scene. I don't remember, like, going like this and then to the bathroom. I don't know. But yeah. I saw nothing rad as freaky. What do you mean? He dementia? Okay, now I'm, what what happened? Yeah, okay, bud. Does the Schrodinger crouch glitch work here? If you don't know what that is, it's where you crouch after uncrouching and enemies try to shoot your eyes. I don't know about that. Thanks for the nightmares. What did I do? I just got shot in the face by a shotgunner, like this guy. Oh no, the other guy. Hey, Yuva. Red, you said they're all dead? Who's dead? I didn't make any joke like that. Oh come on, disc. They warn if you're gonna spam, I'm gonna I'm gonna block you. I'm sorry. He's trying to riz, don't let him skibbity get us. Skinwalk? <laughs> Skinwalk. <laughs> he didn't elaborate on it. But yeah, so how long has the stream been going on? Two hours. I mean, I saw one walkthrough was like one hour long, full playthrough, and one of it was like three hours long. I don't know, man. We are on map 2E. Are you a skinwalker? Some Pakistani bus driver hijacked your stream. <laughs> E F G we're on E, so there's F G H I J K L M. Jesus fucking Christ, it's a long mod. Yeah, I'm not finishing this tonight. Red make a Discord. Cause you yap cause you yap a lot, Red. Red, you would make an awesome horror mod, please. Why? I mean, I'm not that good at, like, modding and mapping and stuff like that. I always join the stream late. Nah, don't worry about it. I read this. I know that says happy birthday, no click. God damn it. Hey, M764. Schrodinger's Leon mod. It's either one hour long or three hour long. Try doing the crouch glitch. Like in front of... <laughs> it's not my birthday. 
But what do you mean, dude, bro? Like, if an enemy comes to me, I do, like... I tried that. I did crouching and uncrouching or... Oh, no. Guys, there was something inside Rad stream. Hold on, I'm looking at the messages. Run backwards quickly. Is this the NPC part 2 NPC incident? Still don't understand some of those messages, chat. Like, did a message appear on screen or something? Save scum? I don't save scum. What do you mean, save scum? I don't save scum. I play it like a normal person. You were whispering. You were whispering? Fuck. I'll, I'll look at it after. I'll look into it after, like, uh... The stream ends, after the stream ends. Crouch until your camera is all the way down, then uncrouch while your view is going up. This? Yeah, I think I did it. But I can't jump now. Was this what you were doing? Hey, cartoons, how's life? Ah, pretty normal. How about you? How are you doing? Jin and Rad stream. <laughs> it's best to ignore it for now. I don't save scum. I only play it as a scum and I save a lot. <laughs> Leon himself says, if you are stuck, you can keep save and loading. Now that's the knowledge of a uh, god. Elder knowledge, wise person. What the fuck is... I never knew about this uh, crouch uncrouching. Like, I can't jump now. Wait, what the fuck? Oh. Oh, he hits me first above my head first, then he aims, or something like that. Why did you tell me there's nothing to be afraid of? Oh, you mean that joke I did the other day? Two days ago? We saw the interloper sticker. I don't know what mod that was. Ch Chad was freaking out. It was hilarious. It's not my bad and frustrating map design. You just need to scum and use RNG. <laughs> What would you do in order to fix Black Mesa? Nothing really. Max Payne music in the background, I love it. You said it in this stream? No, I didn't. You crashed too early, do it higher. Yeah, I think I did it a bit higher. Kibri Toilet is proud of this gem that killed the coal mine. Chad, we're all schizo rad did nothing. I don't get how Alex loves Gordon so much. He's just a statue in third person. <laughs> yeah, he is. Made out of literal concrete. He just finished MP2 yesterday. Now that's absolutely based. Love that game. Do you think Leon should make a Skibbity Toilet mod? He should. I would love to see his take on Skibbity Toilet. This dono saves you from dude bro, you're free now. Oh, thank god, my knees were hurting. Help me win back Thanks, Brick Shitter. <laughs> I love your username, man. <laughs> brick Shitter. What do you do? I shit bricks. <laughs> planning to finish this mod? Because I believe you're not even halfway through. No, I'm not planning to on finishing this. I'm really getting tired of it. My brain is broken, Red. You broke my brain. Don't worry about it. That's just how these streams are. We just have a lot of fun. We play Leon mods. Claypis, what are you doing? I'm making 
Piss. The joke was too meta. Oh, 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 oh. I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Me and when I'm on 50 HP, oh god, I'm only half on my... <laughs> when I made my YouTube account, I tried my normal handles and they were all taken, so I became brick shitter. <laughs> How many mods does Leon have? I think he made like four or five mods for um, Half-Life. But he has also made like Quake 2 mods, Soldier of Fortune mods, Far Cry mods, Ion Fury maps, stuff like that. Uh, I mean, I really respect the man's dedication to mapping and modding. Not a whole lot of people are that diverse in doing that. Where does play Half-Life Episode 3? You mean the closure? Okay, I'm, I think I'm stuck again. What's your favorite TF2 class? Mine is probably Madcap. Is there a Madcap class now? What's your PC specs? Um, Ryzen 5 3600 and an RX 580. 16 gigs of RAM. It's uh, like a medium tier computer. Mm. 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 The turret has a thousand HP, yeah. I don't know why, but I started to think it would be destroyed like the Half-Life 1 turret. Far from Crying 5. I play the shit out of Far Cry 5. It's very enjoyable. Damn, what mod is this, my dude? This is Coastline to Atmosphere. Rad is holding me hostage in his basement. <laughs> it said Madcap got removed back in 2009. What the fuck? I never heard of any Madcap class. Oh! You need ammo. Search for it. Wow, Leon. Words of wisdom. When do, where does this man's law knowledge stop? Closure is canon episode 3. I should know I'm from Valve. Madcap was so cool. Jesus Christ. Stop trying to gaslight me. I know there was never a Madcap class. What's also sad is how Joe lied of Ligma. What's a Joe? <laughs> mm, hundreds and dozens of head crabs, my favorite. Ligma, <laughs> Ligma shows. <laughs> Ready, daddy, stop crouching. I was in the vent. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think I think I'm done with this. Yeah, I'm sorry. There's no way in hell I'll be able to ever finish a Leon mod if they all play like this. Let me show you something even better, chat. Let me show you This chat is John Crackman. And this is a mod that <laughs> I was making. <laughs> so yeah, back when I was messing around with Hammer and stuff, this is a mod that I started to make. I have no idea why this is so low. Hold on. Uh, 
view model FOV should be like 60. Yeah. So yeah, I'll try to commentate about how it should have been going, like how it should have gone, right? Uh, first of all, John Crackman would have had like a lot of voice lines, like Duke Nukem. And this is his piss colored apartment. This is where he sleeps. Uh, this is where he washes his hands and takes a bath. This is where he takes a crap. It's also his only piece of like uh, uh, cutlery. So, you know, he doesn't have any plates or bowls. So this is John Crackman's apartment block. And yeah, I would voice John Crackman. This is our next door neighbor. And here, John Crackman would have been like, Damn, Gary's been murdered by the, I don't know what they call them, the brick hitter or something like that. Like, this would be like an Easter egg. This door is locked, obviously. John Freeman on radiation. So yeah, we would then go outside. The crackening has begun. Yeah, that's like the placeholder line that I would speak here. So yeah, chat, the crackening has begun. And everybody's after John Crackman now. Gary was murdered by Brick Shitter. The Brick Shitter got him. <laughs> Bro killed himself after he figured out Santa wasn't real. <laughs> so yeah, this would be like... Keep in mind, all of this is work in progress. Like, this is this is literally like a gray box level that's been textured. So there's no real detail yet. So, like, there's, like, riots and shit. Like, this guy just murdered that civilian and whatnot. So we would have to escape from the city. Normal day in LA, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why the HUD numbers are so small. I don't know what I changed that made it do that. John Crackman is so badass. So we'd be fighting these uh, Metro Cops along our way. The whole design philosophy is that first there, there would be melee combat. <laughs> this is one of my favorite parts in this. Hold up. It's a really minor detail, but it's like there's a slide, right? Okay, you take the slide, but then you'd notice that there's blood splatter on the wall so you know whoever took the slide boom like splat <laughs> were you trying to make a hud now i think i messed up the fonts because i wanted to change this font and i think i messed up the health numbers <laughs> very subtle yeah I, when i was making this i was like giggling like <laughs> This is so fucking funny. <laughs> Environmental story storytelling, yeah. So yeah. So then we'd get to this like factory or something. Mainly, I wasn't going for visuals, but gameplay. Like how does good gameplay is designed, you know? What it looks like, what it plays like. Slide down in Mach 5 speed. And also, none of the lighting was final. Like, you, you can notice that all of the eternal lights are, like, uh, piss yellow. Because that's, like, a placeholder light for now. What mod is this? This is an incomplete mod that I was making. I need to get to my crack shack in the woods. Hey, Sky. I would never. I was framed. You gotta believe me. <laughs> nah, awfully suspicious to be called the brick shitter. And then I realized my neighbor was murdered by the brick shitter. By a brick. Am I late or something? Yeah, we were playing a Leon mod, but yeah. So you can see the city in the distance. I forgot to give this side of the building a texture. But yeah, you can see like a skyline from here. I need to add more of this here, like over here and over here. A mod to surpass Rad's crack addiction. So yeah, this door is locked, so we need to open it in this cave, the goon cave. So there's a bunch of like, hold on.
You can tell Leon didn't help you with this because there's not 10 enemies around every corner. <laughs> yeah, I, I tried to be really like, uh, uh, like normal about it, not having too much enemies and not too less. Yeah, this is like a developer commentary, but I don't know if this will ever be finished or not. So this is the door switch. So far, there's no sound effect or anything, but if you go back, dev texture right there. It leads us to a cave. And then, chat, we're in map two. This level transition took me two days to figure out, interestingly. And now, we're in the outskirts, chat. Here I try to practice with displacements, but soon I learned that displacements are the work of the devil. And now I hate them. What's on the bonus maps? Uh, I didn't change any of these yet. Bonus maps, developer commentary, achievements, and disconnect. These would be removed later. Masterpiece of a transition. <laughs> We're not in the desert. We're in the um, outskirts, the mountainous areas. See, there's rocks here. Yeah, I tried to give it like a sunset kind of vibe to the environment lighting. Also, the uh, skybox, 3D skybox textures are really messed up. It's not by Leon because you don't have to walk back. That's, that's like a placeholder building for now. So here's some like a, it would have been a bridge or something, but it's broken. So obviously we have to take the back route. Also like the skybox. I think this is from episode, episode one, I think. So far these are like empty pathways with rocks. This would obviously should be stone. And there would be like... Okay, hold on chat. I think I'm about to die in my own goddamn mod. Hilarious. This would be like an arena. Basically what I did, the process was that I gray boxed the maps then textured it, then lighting, but I never got to detail it like I wanted. Fraud. Boo. <laughs> it's an untested map, man. It's not supposed to be played yet. So this would be like, uh, like a river would pass through here. This would also be grass, like a jungly area, stuff like that. Hey, NZ Zimmer. Why did you stop making this? Uh, lack of interest after a while. I was like, yeah, this is not turning out to be good. You should have made it like it's raining. That was the original idea before I changed to this skybox. Because I, I was gonna do a joke that you just passed through a tunnel and now it's night time. Rad can't even beat his own mod. Get good Rad. Yeah, but if I had like, if I used my original idea of having a cloudy uh, skybox, then I definitely would have had it raining. I like the simplicity, it's very straightforward. Yeah, that's what I wanted to practice with this. This is kind of a very Leon type um, fighting like section. How dare you not make a dark and gritty. <laughs> hey Celeste, is your wife Ken? Yeah, she's a Ken event, fortunately. Needs more shotgunners. Yeah, it does need more variety. I don't think like I like how it is right now, it has like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, yeah, seven soldiers standing together is very amateurish and not very fun to play. No, I don't think Metro Cops would make sense outside in this area. This mod is so awesome. Pyro will do a five hour video analyzing it. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the way to our crack check. 
I don't know why they are facing that way. So that's our crack shack, fellas. Post the map files. Yeah, if I ever complete the at least the gray boxing, I might. So this is the Rad Hazard Crack Shack. The... What is the mod about? Ah, oh, it's just a joke mod. Just a test mod, I guess. This is where, like, I haven't put, like, I didn't put in the furniture yet. Like, it would be like a bucket and a chair and a table. And stairs over here that would lead to the next map. Yeah, I think these were only the two maps I made. Was there a third map? Yeah, there's only one test map, I think. Yeah, and it crashed. Amazing house design. All right. Hmm. I thought I would be able to complete coastline to atmosphere and have fun, like, you know, three, four hours, but it really is frustrating to play. What should I do next? I literally don't have anything else planned. Hmm. Oh shit, I can show you this. This is even older. Watch memes. Oh, you're gonna love this chat. This is something I started like years ago, but again, never finished because of its complexity. I don't think it'll, it'll even run. Yeah. This was like a mod I was trying to make. Um, light and goofy. Yeah, I think I have to manually load it in. Yeah, this was my like beta themed, uh, alpha themed uh, Half-Life 1 mod. No, not Seven Co Oh, Seven Cobb. That's a good idea. So it will start off right after like, so we're playing as, um, okay, I should turn down the volume somehow. Hold on. Okay. So we're playing like as, uh, Ivan the space biker or something. The problem is that I used some model from that other people made and you know like this Barney and this pistol and crowbar. Like, I know those, these are alpha, half-life alpha models but you know somebody else ported them to... it's loud. Okay hold on. Let me know if this makes it quieter because if I click on the options um, the game crashes. Is it fine now? Or is it, is it still loud? Better? It's good. Much better. Yeah, it's no worries. It's not like I have, like, complicated, complicated, like, uh, sound design in this so yeah we we would like escape from whatever lab we came from and we're now in the back areas or something you know so we would go down here i tried to do these weird kind of hallways that the beta had and also used these beta textures that were in the um half-life texture file because there are a few of them in there still so we would go here, 
and find this is also a custom mod somebody made of the Ivan the Space Biker HEV suit and we would pick it up and this is the original HEV charger texture if you didn't know we would charge from that Half-Life Alpha yeah this is my Alpha themed mod Yeah, I never figured out how to fix these animated textures. I mean, I like the animations on them, but I don't know why they're blinking like that. So we would press this. That would open the locked gate. There would open also like this area downstairs or something. I think I started making this in 2021 or 22, but never just completed that. Completed it. If you followed me on Twitter back in the day, you might remember me posting just this computer on Twitter and people really liked it. Really good mod, thanks. I really loved making these furniture with the brushes, like this chair, this table, this book, this computer. Oh, it's also playing one of my soundtracks in the background. I think it's Combat 3. I don't know if you can hear it. I don't see anyone make anything a Half-Life mod with Source 2. Hey, thanks, Solid. Nice computer. Thanks. Uh, people don't make stuff with Source 2. is because it's... I think... Having an RTX card is like a requirement on that. So that's why people don't make, you know. So this would be like one of the central areas that you can move from. Like you can see this area here, but it's locked. You can't go in. Again, I don't know what's the deal with these animated textures. I don't know how to use these. Can you quickly explain the difference between models and brushes? Sure. Brushes are like... Uh, 3D blocks. Excuse me. Brushes are like made out of 3D blocks or shapes. Modified like, you know, this was a rectangle. But these two vertices of that brush or that, you know, box was, uh, you know, brought a little down and it made a keyboard. This, the, this is a brush, 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 this is a brush. This wall, this roof. This floor, all of this are brush. This Barney model is a model. This is not a brush. Horrible explanation. Yeah, I, I'm really the wrong guy to ask these questions. I don't really know the technicalities of it all. Also, Source 2 is harder. I don't know. It kind of is similar to Source in some capacity, but uh, harder in others. So this would be the uh, warehouse area. How many models can you put in a map? I do remember there was a limit, but I don't know the exact number. JB Mod is on Steam now. I'm going to hit you with a. I'm going to hit you with a brick that I will borrow from Brick Shitter. <laughs> Also, a big problem with this mod is that since it's like alpha themed, the only models I could use were like the alpha models. Access denied. Why does the game look like that? You mean the textures? I don't know, man. It's just... I was trying to do something. It kind of worked and it kind of didn't. You should have put the charging sound as the entirety of OK Computer, 0 out of 10 mod. <laughs> yeah, this is where the incomplete nature of it, like all of it is incomplete, obviously, but this is really, you know, there's supposed to be like a bridge here that's missing. So we instead go down here. It looks like 1947. But this was fun for the most part. Just trying to figure this stuff out. A 
we would go from here. Absolute zero if it was good. <laughs> nah, man. Absolute zero is peak. We would go in here. Now what would happen is that we need to open this door. That is a dead end. Getting a seizure? Yeah, I know the blinking lights is a bit too much. I should have probably removed that. We go in here. This is the computer room. We press that. And I think I'm out of ammo. How will I... I also use the old HECU models. There we go. Yeah, I also use the old models. Do you ever get tired of playing half only Half-Life? If it's something that I genuinely don't enjoy, like I'm talking about a mod. If I genuinely, genuinely don't enjoy it, then I get tired. Like I, how I got tired of uh, the mod I was just playing earlier. This would be chapter 2. The ladders are hilarious, I know. This is just a grayed out version of what this would look like. How do people even switch models? Uh, you just place the new model in your mods model directory and the mod will automatically pick it up. But yeah, this was something interesting that I used to work on. But this is pretty much where I got to and just stopped. Something else came up and I never picked this up again. John Crackman superiority. <laughs> Put it on Steam and ask $50 for it. Rad has play among Golo now. Is that a mod? Are you gonna play Spherical Nightmares? Nah, not really. Do you think... Do you think Fake Factory learned his lesson from people about his mods? Or he be like, F you, don't care. I think he's the latter type of person. He's like, I don't really care what people think about it. Because he's like a very dedicated kind of person and he does what he wants. So well, I guess let the man have his fun. Oh, that Amangolo. Now that I saw the one Epic player's uh, name in the chat, then I realized it. But the problem is the downloads are all on Discord and I don't have a Discord. Like I literally deleted it years ago. Co-op. Possibly from the next stream. Yeah, I think tomorrow tomorrow's gonna be the last stream of this month. Then I'll probably stream next month. So, probably, yeah. I can email them to you. Sure, if you can. I mean, if it's a small size in like... Or you know what? I think... I think we should just stop here because like like I said in the beginning I was kind of feeling weird today chat I don't know how to describe it like not the same crack energy I felt yesterday or the day before and I guess it's the constant streaming even though I took a break on Thursday even though you know I tried to take a break on Thursday I'm still I guess kind of getting burnt out from streaming or something. So that's why I think I should probably stop the stream earlier rather than going into the three hour or four hour mark. Hope you regain your crack values. I hope so too. Punished Rad has arc. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'll be back to 100% tomorrow, hopefully. Good night. Also, my head hurt. My head also hurt from playing the Leon mod. Yeah, tomorrow hope tomorrow's gonna be the last stream of this month of April. Then in I'll stream the next stream you'll see me in will be in May. But yeah, guys, thanks so much. I uh, hope you enjoyed Leon's uh, crazy antics in coastland atmosphere. Hope you enjoyed the stream. I had fun. I had fun. That was enjoyable. And yeah, take care, have a great day, evening, afternoon, night, wherever you are, and see you in the next one.
Bye-bye.